So that's great. We're using our view method pencil here for drawing, and we've created a rectangle, a green rectangle, from our support view class called Activity Animation. We're going to play with some more drawing and test out the rest of our tools. So let's create another rectangle. So I've created a second rectangle, labeled it 002, and we're locating it just to the right of the green one. And I've decided to test the red paintbrush that fills the rectangle. So let's hit save and run. If we go into our animation activity, there is our red rectangle. So that's drawn at the coordinates 420, 125 for the top left corner. So that's 420 pixels across and 125 down. And this bottom right corner is 460 across and 175 down. So it's always 00, zero at the top left. I can sense you're excited, so let's move on to some circles. If we go back into the code, we're going to have a lot of fun here. We can draw a circle directly onto the canvas through the view method, and it's just called draw circle. And the coordinates are just the xy coordinates, so I'm going to stick it in there 400 by 400, and then next it's the radius, 70 pixels. And we have all these paintbrushes to choose from that we've uh, set up in the last tutorial. Uh, we haven't used the blue one yet, so I'm going to use the blue paintbrush that uh, strokes. Let's hit save and run. Straight into the animation class. Here's our blue circle, and I think I'm going to draw a bullseye here. So, this, yeah, this is at the 400 by 400, that's where the center is, and it's 70 pixels in radius, and it's just stroked the path. So if we go back into the code, I'm going to draw two more circles, both centered at 400 by 400, one with a 20 pixel radius, and one with 10. And I'm going to use the green paintbrush to fill the circle, and a red paintbrush to fill the circle. Let's see how that looks. There you go. Here's our bullseye. Now, Squares, rectangles, and circles are pretty simple, but what if you wanted to stroke something like a triangle, or a star, or something else? Well, you'd have to use something called a path, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do. I'm going to draw a triangle that starts at the bullseye position of this circle target. We're going to go down to the right, left, and back up to the circle. Let's go into our activity animation layout and add the triangle to the layout. If we go to the top of the class, I'm going to declare a path type, and I'm going to call it, oh, we have to import the path, import class, and I'm going to call it triangle. If we scroll down to the bottom, we can say triangle equals new path. And you're just going to plot the coordinates. So we'll take our path and we're going to set the origin at the center of the circle, which is 400 by 400. Then you take your path and then you say draw a line to, uh, well, I'm going to say 600 by 600. And then you do this for each point in your triangle. and you move down to where you've just drawn to. And then again, you draw a line to your next point. And I'm gonna choose 200 by 600. And then again, you move to the point you've just drawn. And finally, we're going to draw the line back to the center of the circle. So the final path is going to be draw a line to 400 by 400. So we have our path, and now we're going to tell the canvas to draw our path. We're going to give it the path name, so draw a triangle. Let's use the red paintbrush stroke. Let's hit save and run go straight into the animation class. Here's our triangle. And just for fun, I'm going to put 
a circle at each of these points. So let's go back into the code. I'm not going to type it out from scratch. I've done the hard work. It's just a copy and paste of the above code and I've changed the coordinates to match the three points of the triangle. So if we hit save and run again. And if we go into our animation activity, now we have targets at each corner of the triangle. And here's one thing to note, when you're drawing, the order does matter. So we first drew the first circle, and on top of it we drew the triangle. You can see the red lines cross the circle. But these two circles were drawn last, so their lines cross over the triangle that was drawn. Great, that's it for this tutorial. In the next one, we'll start looking at adding bitmaps and drawings. Thanks for watching.